Muncie Pottery did not begin life as an art pottery company. It started as the Gill Brothers Glass Pot Company of Bel Air, Ohio, which relocated in Muncie, Indiana, 65 miles from Indianapolis in 1892. There it was known as the Gill K Pot Company, which supplies pots and tanks for glass melting, as shown above. World War I produced an unintended consequence for the Gill K Pot Company which feared German competition for their large melting pots, so the company diversified. Initial production of art pottery began in 1923. The early production of art pottery was not very successful, as evidenced by the scarcity of early examples today. Much of the early wear pre-1929 is arts and crafts and design. Here we can see an array of many hard-to-find early pieces. Muncie Pottery achieved success with their art pottery when they hired designer Reuben Haley, who took them from an unsuccessful arts and crafts production pieces to more successful, innovative art deco work. Haley produced designs for Muncie Pottery that first appeared in their 1929 catalog and can be traced back to the designs he did for Consolidated Glass Company from 1926 to 1928. Reuben Haley designed several lines of art pottery for Muncie. These are distinct from Muncie's early production, which we were discussed earlier. The Haley designs are similar to the designs he did for Consolidated Glass Company. A review of the 1929 catalog shows designs that mimic the following Consolidated Glass Company items. Catalonian line, Ruberomic line, Lovebird's face, Katie Dids or Grasshopper, Tropical Fish face, and the Dancing Girl's face. These photos show the five-panel green over rose matte glaze nudes or dancing girls lamp base shape U33 with details from each panel. Three figure rolls in peach can glaze. Top row, tropical fish, Katie did. On the bottom row is the lovebird's face. The Reuben Haley figure roll works are high relief designs and are much different from the low relief patterns found in some of the early production Muncie pieces. The designs Haley used on Consolidated Glass Tropical Fish Faces basically cloned onto the Muncie Pottery Vase. Note the similarities in shape, size, and design. The glass face is blown into a steel mold, thus allowing very sharp design definition. The Muncie Vase is slip molded and thus has a softer design definition. Reuben Haley designed a lovebird's face for Muncie Pottery using a pillow-shaped form. His similar designs for Consolidated Glass Company was a bulbous face, and it was a direct copy of the Rene Lilique Perruche's French for parakeet design. Consolidated 2752 lovebird vase in plain red glass and red glass with gold. Now if we take a look at the pillow-shaped vases from Muncie, We'll see shape 193 lovebird vases, glazes top row left to right, green drip over pumpkin, green drip over peach skin, green drip over purple, bottom row, two variations of green over rose. Much softer details, quite appealing. These are the only lovebird vases that Muncie made. The round vase was actually a, st a stangle vase. This is the Lovebird's Console Bowl in a gloss green glaze. The Lovebird's Console Bowl is one of the rare Muncie pottery high relief figural pieces as only a half dozen have surfaced. In 1926, Reuben Haley used the Katie Theater Grasshopper design on three different glass faces at Consolidated Glass Company. He adapted these designs to a small pillow-shaped face for Muncie Pottery that appeared in the 1929 catalog. Here we have several examples in various glazes, including uh, black peach glen at the top of the photograph. By adapting his designs for Consolidated Glass Company for their 2200 line, Reuben Haley also produced melon vases for Muncie Pottery. Here we can see the uh, glass example on the lower left and the rest are Muncie. I strongly suspect that Reuben Haley also designed two console sets for Muncie Pottery. 
is they have very similar designs. Here is another example where we can see the design influence from the pieces Haley originally designed for Consolidated Glass Company. Compared to two glass vases to the center Quincy Pottery vase, the similarity is striking. Here we see an array of various rare Muncie Pottery Rubarambic Reuben Haley designed lamps. Some are complete with the harps and some are just the lamp bases themselves. All of these lamp bases are very difficult to find today and command a premium price. Shape 312 Rubarombic Star Vases, top row gloss black, gloss green, peach skin, orange peel, bottom row green over lavender, white over rose, green over rose, and green over pumpkin. This is the most common of the Rubarombic shapes that Muncie made. Uh, common means that you can find it, but it's still a very rare piece compared to things like Futura by Roseville. Here is some very rare Muncie Rubarombic top row 307 falling triangle leaves and gloss blue over green. 308 6 inch X vase or pencil holder vase in matte green. 300 fan vase in peach skin. 307 stack cubes in green over lavender. 304 9 inch bud vase in green over pumpkin and green over lavender. Bottom row 309 7 inch in green over rose. 301 money bag vase in matte green. More examples of Muncie Rubarombic rarities. Creamer and sugar, console bowl, another creamer and sugar in white over blue. The candlesticks and console bowl, a couple of cube bases, and again, a creamer and sugar, this time in uh, green over pumpkin. Uh, these vases can be found in almost all of the glazes, but they're all very difficult to find, as in all Rubarombic that Muncie made. On the left is the consolidated nasturtium vase in a russet red wash. Right is the Muncie shaped 278 low aorta vase. Notice the design similarities between the glass example and the Muncie pottery example. Now this is the Spanish line we're looking at in tall aorta vases, the console set with candlesticks, uh, various glazes including this extremely rare a console bowl on the bottom with a yellow with green overdrip. The Spanish line was very hard to find and it mirrors the Catalonian line. Here are several 278 5 inch low aorta vases based on the shape of the heart. Top row is peach skin, orange peel, gloss back, and peach skin. Bottom row, we have green over pumpkin, green over lavender, green over rose, and white over rose. 